Have you heard about our 1,000 books before kindergarten challenge? Did you know that reading just one book every night will get you to the goal of 1,000 books before kindergarten in under three years? The simple and enjoyable act of sharing a book can help to develop pre-reading skills that will prepare your child for kindergarten. You can keep track of your reading with our Beanstack app. These books are going to lend some laughs to the holidays with shenanigans and surprise endings. Who doesn't love a book with a surprise ending? These are going to entertain and delight with a twist that you won't see coming. First up is Eat Pete by Michael Rex. A monster is looking for a snack. Pete is a preschooler who couldn't be more thrilled when a purple-furred, horned, snaggletooth monster shows up in his bedroom. Pete invites the monster to play cars with him, but the monster's intentions are made clear by the thought bubble hovering over his head. This monster wants to eat Pete. But hey, now Pete has someone to play with, and the hungry monster couldn't be more thrilled to be there either. Now he could eat Pete. But Pete has other ideas, and luckily for Pete, this monster is easily distracted and decides that playing cars actually looks like fun. And so is playing pirates and building with blocks. Each time they switch activities, the monster thinks first about eating Pete and then decides to play a little longer. Well, just about in the middle of the book, the monster does in fact eat Pete. We all know that the course of playing together nicely never did run smoothly, but the monster finds that playing alone is not so much fun. A happy ending awaits, but little readers will be briefly flabbergasted and things are going to get quite giggly. Next up we have The Forgetful Knight by Michelle Robinson. A forgetful knight goes to battle against the dragon that stole his horse. In some clever and catchy rhyming verse, the narrator tells the story of the knight's quest to find the dragon. Except the narrator can't quite remember the story, and so they constantly stop to try and work it out, creating a hilarious narrative that veers in absurd directions. Did that knight carry a sword, or was it a sandwich? Was he supposed to fight a cat or a dragon? This is a hilarious and unpredictable adventure, building through the laugh-out-loud rhymes until at last the narrator remembers his own role at the center of all this madness. The knight kills the dragon, and the dragon kills the knight, but wait, the narrator remembers what really happened, assuring readers that the dragon didn't really die, but actually received a scolding, had a good cry, and mostly avoided eating pets after that. Next up, we have Baghead by Jarrett J. Krozoshka. This is the hilarious tale of a haircut gone awry. Can you relate? I know I can. One day, Josh had a big brown bag idea to wear a paper bag over his head. He thought it was a great idea. His mother did not. Neither did his bus driver, his teacher, or his soccer coach. None of the adults in his life think that wearing a big brown paper bag on his head is a good idea. What could Josh possibly be hiding? Just when readers may begin to think that Josh could sustain his baghead facade indefinitely, his little sister pops the one question that no adult has bothered to ask. Why are you wearing a bag, Josh? For the first time, Josh reveals himself, along with the answer, a do-it-yourself haircut. That same compassionate sister brings about the happy ending in the form of a spiky new hairdo. A surprise ending will keep kids giggling and also from taking haircuts into their own hands. And finally we have Poor Little Guy by Alana Allen. What do you do when you're so tiny that the bigger ocean creatures think you might taste as adorable as you look? This is the story of a small, bespectacled pufferfish who must face the everyday reality of being a small fish in an ocean full of big fishes. An itsy-bitsy fish, wearing his glasses and minding his own business, when a playful, and also hungry, octopus snatches him right up. The octopus is a bit too friendly, and he invents a series of increasingly absurd scenarios until eventually he pops that little fish right into his mouth, just to see if the little fish tastes as cute as he looks. Luckily, this poor little guy is not quite as innocent as he seems, and he has a big surprise up his sleeve. 
readers might be able to see what's coming, but I don't think that octopus does, leading to lots of giggles. I hope you enjoy these books with a twist. Don't forget to check out our Beanstack app.